Hello. Now I will do my presentation for EEL6825 project. The topic of my project is design of face recognition system. Firstly, I will introduce the system model and then introduce the motivation. And finally, I will show the simulation and results by using MATLAB. This is the uh, typical, simula uh, typical system model for face recognition system. We input an image and do face detection and feature extraction. And finally, we do face recognition. We should note that the face detection and feature extraction are always uh, done at the same time. This is the system model I used in my project. First, input an image which is called original. Then pre-process the original image which contains grid transformation, filtering, and edge detection to get a better qualified image that can do face detection and recognition. And next, detect faces from the pre-processed image. Finally, do, final rec do face recognition using PCA in the processed histogram method. To simplify the face recognition process, I use the ORL database from AT&T, which has already finished image pre-processing and face detection. These are the major topics in my project. The first one is image pre-processing, which contains grade level transformation, filtering, and edge detection. Uh, the grade level transformation can compensate the illumination and balance of the original image, letting it have the, uh, the same or at least similar grade level distribution in order to have a general standard when conducting feature extraction and face recognition. Uh, because the noise makes distortion and decreases the quality of an image, uh, it is necessary to use a filter to remove noise before face detection and feature extraction. There are several filtering methods such as smoothing and sharpening. The edge detection is an image pre-processing method that is used in coarse collation a course location and main character's location, such as eyes, nose, and the mouth. In this project, I will show effects of the edge detection using Kenny algorithm. About the face detection, uh, in a color image, one of the most obvious face characters is the color. Actually, the color of human skin can be considered as a unique part in the color class classification, no matter what race or skin color you are. The most important factor of effectiveness skin color is the brightness variation. We usually use the most popular RGB type, well, which means the red, green, and blue, to remove the brightness of images. Now I will uh, focus on the face recognition using PC and processed histogram. The PC face recognition has the following steps. First, pre-processed face images, which we assume to have already finished. Second, read in the face image database forming the Eigen uh, subspace. And third, project both training images and testing images to the subspace above. And finally, use a certain distance function to do face recognition. Uh, we can use a low dimensional space to represent this image by using KL transformation. The KL transformation sets up a new coordinate co uh, rotating an object according to the eigenvector. This transformation makes each component vector of the original vector uncorrelated in order to remove those vectors having little information and finally reduces the number of egg, uh, eigenspace dimension. In general, uh, we can use the following steps to calculate the coefficient of KL expansion. First, calculate the autocorrelation matrix of the random variable at random vector x. Since we don't have the mean vector mu of the sample set. The autocorrelation matrix R is usually insignificant. Therefore, we can consider the covariance matrix of the data as the matrix of KL coordinate. 
where mu is the population mean vector. And secondly, we calculate eigenvalue lambda i and the eigenvector phi i of the correlation, autocorrelation matrix or the covariance matrix R. And finally, uh, we can calculate the coefficient of um, KL expansion. Now I will introduce the process histogram. Histogram refers to the frequency of each query level images. Image types determine the number of bins in the histogram. Uh, for example, we can see the two pictures. One is an 11 times 10 square image, and the other one is 10 times 11 squares images. In both images, the black squares represent 0 and the white squares represent 1. Therefore, uh, they have different zeros and 1s at each location. However, the frequency of 0 and 1 is the same in both images. This will result in the same histogram of the two different images. Since two different images may have the same histogram, it is likely that the histogram of any testing image will match the one of the training images. To solve this problem, we use the function called phase-only correlation. It is defined as a 2D inverse Fourier transform of the cross-phase spectrum of two images. Um, one of, uh, it, the function can be shown as follows. One of the uh, important pro properties is that when two images are similar, their POC function has a distinctive peak. But if they are, if they are not uh, the same, uh, the POC function doesn't have a distinct peak. Therefore, uh, the height of the peak of two images is a good measurement parameter to do face recognition. Now I will show the simulation and results in MATLAB. There are several programs that uh, uh, that uh, can achieve different uh, functions. Uh, this one is to transform. This one is transfer from a RGB image to a gray level image, and this is the histogram equalization. This program is to do smoothing and sharpening. This program is to do edge detection, and this one is for face detection. The next two programs uh, are based on PCA, uh, which can do eigenphase and a reconstruction. And the last program is based on the histogram uh, to do the face recognition. First, I will show the gray level transform. This is the original image of RGB type and this one is the gray level image. Then we'll do the histogram equalization. This is the result of histogram comparison of the gray level image and the equalized image. You can see that the uh, equalized image is better than the original one. Then we'll do smooth and sharpening. This is the result of the smoothing uh, to make the result more direct more directable. I add noise to the original gray level image. And this is the result of the sharpening comparison. Now I will do edge detection. This is the result of edge de detection. We can see that it correctly uh, detects the edge of the image. Now I will, do, I will do face detection. This is the result of face recognition, uh, face detection. We can see that it is not ac uh, accurate enough. This is because that when do face detection, it firstly transform the original image into the gray level image and then do face detection based on the color disper dispersion. Uh, since the neck and the face are both light areas and there's no obvious boundary between the two parts, therefore the result 
isn't、uh, accurate enough. Now I will show the face recognition based on PCA. I've already set up two folders. One is named AgFace, and the other one is named、uh, Reconstructor.、Uh, first, I will do the、uh, AgFace. The res the result will be stored in the AgFace folder. This is the result of our、uh, AgFace simulation. We can see the different、uh, different pictures about the different component. And the last one is the average face. Now we will do the reconstruction.、Uh, the result will be stored in the reconstruct reconstruct part folder. This is this is the final reconstruction result. We can see it is very accurate. At last,、uh, I would do the simulation based on processed histogram. As we can see,、uh, we can input an image from the ORL database. Let's see the eighteen number eight number three. We can see the input image over here, and then we do testing. It can test test test、uh, the recognized image, and it is the correctly recognized image. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.